Upper Peninsula, Michigan, Mr. Bergman. Well, th thanks, Andy, and uh, thank you all. And, uh, you know, with the redistricting, um, I can now proudly say I represent almost half the state of Michigan. So think about how far you can drive in ten and a half hours. That's one end of my district to the other. But it is uh, representing all of the people, both in the Upper Peninsula and the Northern Lower, because they sent me here. But they didn't send me here to come home every weekend and tell them what I'm going to do next week. They sent me here. Now, I'm a Marine. I'm pretty simple. I swore an oath a long, long time ago, and that oath never expires. And that oath basically said, I'm going to go wherever I am sent to do what I need to do to defend our country's interests and the interests of others. And that doesn't mean going there Monday through Friday and then coming home on the weekends, because the war fight does not stop on Friday at 5. So the point is, we were sent here, all 435 of us. Some of us have the luxury to sleep in our own bed, in our own home every night because of the district we represent. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And some of us have to take two flights and then a two or three hour drive to just get into our, our own bed in our own home. So I believe the success of the 118th Congress, this is not Democrat or Republican, is having all of those members here for longer periods of productive time that enable the committees to do at a nice, um, not a frenetic pace, but a, but a pace where the dialogue can occur. I mean, if I was going to have one rule, I'd say, you know what, committee time, you get five minutes? Hell, change it to three. Let's start by saving 60% of the time, because I've heard so many much BS in that first four minutes and 30 seconds, and then the last 30 seconds you ask a question. So the point is, we, we largely, when you think about life, is always a competition for resources. It's been that way since the beginning of any, not even before mankind. If there's, if there's a carcass to be shared, it's going to be fought over so somebody can eat. Well, time and money. We know we have some financial problems. We know we are outspending our resources. We know we have to get that, begin to get that under control and bend that curve. But what concerns me most is time. A moment wasted is a moment lost. The one thing that God gave us all that is the same for everybody is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not eight days, no, that's not the Beatles song, okay? But if you can't get it done in 24, I would suggest to you break it down by the minute. There's 1,440 minutes in every day. And if you can't get it done in 1,440 minutes, there's 84,600 seconds in every day. Break it down by the second. My chosen careers prior to, to elected office meant breaking it down literally by the second. I know the American people want that for us. I don't know of anybody who gets elected here who's not trying to do the right thing for the right reason. But we have to be here. We have to, again, whatever we define regular order is, as Mark said, most of us don't know what it means. But we know when things are getting done and when they're not. And our constituents know when things are getting done and they're not. And I came here to more listen than talk. But the idea, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm going to yield back a minute. Thank you. I want to thank you for your service then and now. Always an honor and occasionally a pleasure. <laughs> thank you, General. <laughs> and thanks for yielding back a minute, dog, on it. Appreciate that. Now we're going to go to the gentlelady from Indiana, Ms. Bartz. Well, thank you so much, and thank you, Congressman Bill.